Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Several key announcements were made during the Southern Africa Telecommunication Networks and Applications Conference held near Hermanus this week. Natasha Woodendahl tells us more. Hi. Hi. What significant announcement did Telcom make regarding local loop unbundling? Well, in a surprise move, they actually announced that they, in a test phase, are going to open up 200 exchanges to the market. Uh, it's more along um, CEO Sipa Maseko's move to democratize broadband. And they're, they're obviously trying to go in line with the NDP's goals and government's ambitions of broadband for all by 2020. I mean, this is like quite an about change from a couple of years ago when Telcom had aggressively defended its access to its last mile. Um, ICASA was trying to put together a lot of policies enabling other players in the market to gain access, which in turn would help them become more competitive um, and what, in what they said would also help them lower prices. And Telcom just wouldn't have it. So now with this move, it, it seems to be a step in the opposite direction when, when they're actually going to let the mobile operators have some access. Granted, it's only at a limited stage for now, but it seems that they eventually want to open up their entire last mile network to the players. The only catch is that um, Sipa Maseko actually said that he wants the mobile operators to do the same. He wants them to open up their networks. What is the latest with regard to Telcom's fiber rollout plans? Well, they seem to be gaining some traction in that. Um, last year they announced that they're actually going to start rolling out their fiber to the home across 20 suburbs in South Africa with um, tentative plans to actually roll out to more and take it nationwide eventually. But now, as Telcom has passed 38,000 homes, they've said that by the end of this year, they would have passed 70,000 homes with their fiber to the home um, network. And by the end of next year, they would have passed oh, well, 500,000 homes. By 2018, they want to take it all the way through to 1 million. It seems a bit ambitious, but, you know, a CEO is pretty confident that it can be done. What assurances did the telecommunications minister give regarding the ICT policy white paper being published? Well, he reiterated uh, the urgency of having it brought out again. This is a policy that's actually supposed to revamp the framework in South Africa, give, give some sort of direction and guidance on where we can go. And it's been in the works now for three years. In April, the final recommendation was finally released to the minister, and from there, he's obviously been studying it and having a look at where he can where he can take it from now. Um, so by March next year, he has promised that they would actually publish the final white paper on this policy. But it's it's yet to be seen whether it'll actually happen because there have been numerous delays to this policy as there have been with this, the Spectrum policy, which is also promising by March. But the one thing I suppose we should be happy about is he started um, implementing SA Connect at South Africa's broadband plan. Um, and they've started with phase one and they've actually connected the eight districts. Um, and then they're start now going to start next year, early next year, on the second phase of that. So we'll see how long that takes and then where we can take it from there. Thank you. Thanks. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.